Hello my loves, Tony here from Teal Yarn Crafts and welcome back to my channel. If you've been practicing Tunisian crochet but can't quite get those sharp lines that you're looking for, then this is the video for you. Today I'm sharing my tips and tricks for perfectly straight edges along all four sides of your Tunisian crochet projects. Before we dive too deep into the video tutorial, let's have a moment with our video sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community for the curious and the creative. Millions of members visit this video workshop platform Platform to learn everything from illustration to design, even how to run your small business and crush it at social media. The most recent class I checked out on Skillshare was Knitting 101, Everything You Need to Knit with Confidence. Now we all know crochet is my first love, but when you get access to a class taught by one of the most brilliant designers in the game, you jump on it. I might be a little biased, you know the teacher Vincent Williams is a really good friend of mine, but his skills as an instructor speak for themselves. This class guides you through a project while giving you a solid foundation in knitting stitches and techniques. Kudos to Skillshare for being able to spot amazing talent like Vincent. Now this class and thousands more are available on demand when you upgrade to the premium membership. If you're ready to explore new skills, deepen existing passions, and get lost in your own creativity, hop on over to Skillshare. The first 1,000 subscribers to click the Skillshare link down in the description will get a free trial of the premium membership. Now let's get to the tutorial. We'll start by focusing on the bottom edge. So I'm going to place the slip knot on my hook and I'm gonna do a series of chains. Make sure you don't make your chains too tight because we will need to work into them. Once you have the number of chains that you need, we're going to flip the chain over. So we'll get our nice clean edge by working into these back bumps, which will leave the Vs here available for that clean edge. So flip your work over. We're not gonna work in this first bump here. We're gonna work in this next bump right here. Insert your hook under that bump, yarn over and pull up a loop. Under the next bump, yarn over, pull up a loop. Under the next bump, yarn over, pull up a loop. You'll know you did that right if you have the same number of loops on your hook as the number of chains that you started with. Be consistent here and you'll have a nice clean edge all the way across. At this point, we can do our return pass. So we yarn over, pull up a loop for a chain one, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. I did another forward pass just to show you this bottom edge here. We have those beautiful V's left over for that nice clean edge. Now let's focus on our right edge. If we look here at the right hand edge of our work, we have a series of V's and that's what we want to maintain. And most of the work of getting those consistent V's happens on the return pass, not the forward pass. Usually when I have about four loops left on my hook, I'll start tugging down on my working yarn after I pull through those two loops. That helps me to have consistent size on my loops and it pulls down to the correct gauge on that right hand side to make sure that the loop I just pulled through is the same size for each row. Now I'm gonna tug down on my working yarn to make sure that single loop on my hook is taut and then begin my forward pass. When doing Tunisian crochet, you achieve nice clean edges on the left side of your work by making sure you work under the correct loops. The easiest way to find those loops is to pinch the edge of your work between your thumb and middle finger and rotate the work towards you. What you're looking for is the front loop and the back loop of that last stitch. And you wanna insert your hook under both loops of that stitch, just like that. Then yarn over, pull up your loop, and to begin your return pass, you would yarn over and pull through one, then yarn over and pull through two. So we've got consistency here on the front and the side of our work. But I know some people find that quite tricky. So here's a foolproof way to find those loops with the use of a locking stitch marker. So here I've inserted my hook under both loops of that last stitch. I'm gonna yarn over and pull up a loop. Now to make sure I know where to put my hook the next time I come to the end of my row, I'm going to take my locking stitch marker and catch the working yarn and the front loop of that last stitch, just like this. 
Now I can chain one and complete my return pass. Now let me show you what you can expect when you get down to the end of the row next time. Now I'm back at the end of my row and what you'll see is that the locking stitch marker is in the space where I need to insert my hook. So I can just place my hook in that space under both of the loops that are being held by the locking stitch marker, drop my marker, yarn over and pull up my loop and again catch the working yarn and the front loop of the last stitch on my hook and lock it. I'll tighten down a little chain one and complete my return pass. I've always considered locking stitch markers as kind of the training wheels of crochet and use them as much and as long as you need to until you can get consistent tension and consistent results without them. But it's a nice little trick if you're still having trouble getting those clean left side edges. Now let's wrap up by talking about our top edge. Let's say you're all done with your project and you're ready to bind off. The easiest way to get a clean edge on your bind off is with a slip stitch bind off. So I'm working in Tunisian simple stitch. So I'm going to insert my hook as I would for a normal Tunisian simple stitch, yarn over and pull up the loop and then pull through the additional loop that's on my hook. And you can see I've got a V here from my slip stitch and that's gonna travel all the way across the top of my work. Insert into the next stitch, yarn over and pull through for a slip stitch. Make sure your slip stitches aren't too tight or you will experience puckering here at the top of your work. Just be consistent and take your time. And for your last stitch, you're gonna insert just like you would on your last stitch, yarn over and pull through for a slip stitch. So now you've got nice even edges here along the top as well. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. And if you have any other Tunisian crochet questions I can answer in a video, put your request down in the comments. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see y'all next time.